a flimsy lunch tray here and welcome to World of Warships. So today's video, you don't normally get a Thursday video, but you're going to get it today, is a video in which I want your input, I need your help uh, as the channel grows and some things I'm working on right now and that specifically being relating uh, to Patreon and I'll get to that here in just a moment. So the background footage, I'm just going to highlight a Moscow battle I had on the public test server. Uh, it was really fun. It was really good. Um, and I featured Moscow not too long ago here on the channel. Uh, so I thought maybe if you want to see more of it in action, um, you'll get to do so here on the public test server. And this is with the new camera angle as well as so I was trying to get a feel for that. So Patreon. So basically my question is going to talk about um, Good morning to get some of you guys' input um, and thoughts on that. Uh, but before I do, I feel like I need to give a little bit of background um, on this subject. So, when I started uh, World of Warships, I started playing back in the fall of 2019. Um, it's pretty much a, very much a greenhorn at the game. And the reason why I even play World of Warships is because I was just one of those people uh, who didn't play World of Warships but loved watching the Mighty Jingles uh, do YouTube videos. Um, and seeing things in action and also that I'm a big uh, naval war history nerd. Um, I love my war history. Um, I minored in history in college and so uh, just really enjoy that. So uh, when I began, when I got my PC and began gaming, uh, World of Warships really fit in well. Then fast forward to the fall, I think, oh well, not fall, late summer, August 2020. Yeah, August 2020. Uh, I made the first YouTube video of Word of Worships uh, here on the channel. Um, kind of why, the reason why I decided to do a YouTube channel uh, was a few things. I thought I'd try it out, see what it was all about, um, and also because it was uh, the pandemic times and, you know, can't really socially interact with people with COVID going around and the, the shutdowns, the lockdowns we had here in Norway. Um, and so I thought perhaps I can... I'm a very, I like being a very creative person, so I thought perhaps this would be a good way um, to have a creative outlet um, with doing um, something on your YouTube channel um, and deciding, hey, why not use that with World of Warships kind of thing. So, um, and Jingles was definitely an inspiration for that as well. And part of the reasoning of why I decided to make a YouTube uh, channel. Um, and since then, uh, we've done almost 400 videos we're closing in on 400 videos um i think when i was looking at the analytics the other day um there's already over the lifetime of the channel has been over 130,000 views i think over 11,000 public watch hours something like that um and to me that just blows my mind um when i made the channel and started doing this i did it as a hobby uh, i didn't really have uh these big dreams and visions of being the next biggest World of Warships content creator on YouTube. Uh, I was just doing it because I'm having fun and I'm still having fun doing it. Uh, I love doing YouTube videos. When um, I'm when I was away on the road trip vacation a couple weeks ago, uh, I was missing sitting down, creating YouTube content um, for all, for y'all. Um, and I missed that even when I was in the US last year for several weeks, uh, I missed that um, outlet that I have for creating contents because um, one, uh, I enjoy enjoy the game, but I really enjoy the community um, in World of Warships, particularly with all y'all uh, here in the FLT community uh, and interacting with you and doing what I can to help uh, you in your journey, whether you're a newer player or you've been playing the game for some time. Um, I like to try to do videos uh, for anyone. Ranked, randoms, loves co-op, um, needing input, advice, that type of thing. So I've just really enjoyed it, and I have been, I'm so grateful uh, to y'all for uh, your journey with me along the way, I guess, a uh, content creator journey, uh, if that's a thing, because uh, it's been fun. Um, I like interacting with you, like responding to your comments. Uh, if I am able to help, doing what I can to help you as a player, um, I like helping people. It's kind of one of the things about me. Um, and so I'm just grateful. And we're almost a thousand subscribers, which just kind of blows my mind as I think that's really cool. Cause again, when I started this, I didn't really have a goal in mind and that's probably not a good thing. 
um, <laughs> if you were going to be a YouTube content creator. Uh, but I guess the main goal was I just wanted to help people um, break down my own battles. And that ended up uh, turning into doing the upgrade computer videos. Um, and then that ended up turning into uh, starting off a new player guide series. Um, the upgrade and commander build videos are the most successful on the channel. Uh, and then the new player guide series has been the second most successful uh, of the video series, I guess, uh, as you say, that we do here on the channel. And I also like making y'all laugh. So we've made some meme videos and now it's mostly shorts just because I don't always have the time to sit down and genuinely do uh, a meme video. Um, even though I love, <laughs> I love laughing, uh, I love sharing joy. Um, so again, with all that being said, uh, I just appreciate all of you. Um, at different times throughout uh, probably the last few months this year, um, I've kind of hinted talking about, toyed with the idea with that some of you know of, of doing something like a Patreon once we reach a thousand subscribers. And I think I've said this twice now, um, and both times there have been those of you who've expressed that you would like to support uh, me, support the channel uh, via Patreon um, in a more direct way rather than perhaps maybe just a like uh, or a subscribe. Um, and so I think that's really cool. Um, I'm really grateful for that. And I've been, honestly, I've been dragging my feet um, uh, with the looking more into a Patreon um, just because I like doing this as a hobby. I mean, up to this point, I've not made $1 in doing this YouTube channel, uh, in over the almost two years. Uh, oh yeah, we're almost like two years. So maybe the thousand subscriber also lands on the two years of YouTube, uh, content creation, uh, here on the channel. Um, but I, I don't like being an insincere person where you think I'm just coming after your money. Like, oh, he's going to have this big YouTube channel just because he... Uh, he's flimsy's coming after your money like no <laughs> uh, i just do this for fun and i love engaging with y'all um but the reality is you know as time progresses and it seems that you all are enjoying uh the content here on the channel uh you're liking what we do um being able to be supported uh via patreon uh, will help in a few ways, and these are kind of the ways that I'm thinking of how uh, how I'd use the funds of a Patreon. Uh, one would be it helps to sustain the content creation. So uh, when I need to get a new PC, when I need maybe a new monitor or a new microphone, right now everything seems to be working just fine. Microphone's fine, monitor's fine. I think the PC I've had since yeah fall of 2019, it seems to still be running fine. I do checkups, all that kind of stuff on it, um, but you know, when we go to do a, when I start doing the YouTube live streams, I want to start doing those uh, pretty soon. And that's kind of the next thing I'm having to work on um, is that having a second monitor would be really useful. So then I can see the stream while I'm playing the game, you know, playing the game on one monitor, seeing the screen on the second monitor, um, and I get to respond to your comments, right? Yeah, so that would be super helpful just to interact with you, respond to you, communicate with you while playing the game and viewing the second screen. Um, so I don't necessarily have the money just to kind of throw out to getting a monitor right now. Uh, just had vacation uh, and working on some other things, personal in life, that take up finances, of course. Um, so yeah, so that, that would be something. Uh, the other would be for um, giveaways on the channel. So, you know, you giving to the channel is also, in a sense, is giving back to you beyond just the videos uh, that I produce here on the channel. Uh, but we can have uh, some giveaways every now and then, whether it be for doubloons, premium time, a ship here and there. I don't necessarily what that, know what that looks like, um, but I will, if, you know, if I was gonna support someone on Patreon, um, I think having a giveaway tied into this would be uh, good. You know, you are helping, of course, me as a content creator uh, sustain uh, creating content on the channel and engaging in that way. So yeah, so I think giveaways would be good to be able to do here on the channel, right? Um, so I should probably stop yabbering on and get to the question. So the, the question that I have um, is basically when looking on Patreon and setting up a tier, um, it asks for a tier name. So for example, I support Jingles on Patreon and the, the tier name is that you are a salt miner, right? Um, that's really a funny thing tied to Jingles, tied to the Jingles community. So then what would be a good tier name for the FLT community, for uh, the, the Flimsy Lunch Trade community, 
right? And I, not sure. I don't feel like I have a good thought. I've been discussing it in Discord uh, with some uh, some of you there. Um, I have an FLT Discord server. Links in the description below if you want to join in, because um, I do like to interact with you all there when I'm able to. Um, and we've been discussing some interesting things. Uh, I don't think we've landed on anything yet that I can say confidently at this point of uh, me recording this video uh, on Wednesday. Um, but we're still throwing around some ideas, you know. So what do you think goes well with the FLT community or plays off of the, a flimsy lunch tray well? Or uh, what would that be, you know? So what's a good tier name that I can put up uh, for the tier name of the Patreon? Um, and so when I'm looking at the Patreon... This is probably something else uh, I can throw out there. Um, they do different tiers, so you can uh, have different levels of tiers of how much a person uh, can support you. And what I'm planning on at this point, uh, unless you disagree, is just starting off as a dollar. And if it works the same way when I joined and became a member, a patron of Jingles, um, the minimal was a dollar, and then you could just put in uh, you could put in more, so I could put $2 in, $3, $10, $5, $10. Um, and I like that flexibility because then you get to decide uh, what you financially feel comfortable with for those of you who may decide to support um, on Patreon. And you get to decide um, rather than me doing something like a um, dollar, $5, $10, or whatever. Uh, I'd rather just let you all decide how much you feel financially comfortable with. Uh, even though uh, the Patreon was recommending against doing a dollar, if they say like do, I think basically $2.50 starting off because processing fees thing, it's weird. I can just throw it up uh, uh, below so you can read or what it was about. Um, so yeah, so I'd rather just let you decide um, what you would want to do if you decided to, you wanted to support further than Patreon uh, or further than maybe just a like or a subscription. And that's and totally fine. Um, like I said, I've been dragging my feet for a long time looking more into the Patreon thing because I don't want you all to think that I'm just, I want your money or anything like that, but it just helps sustain, uh, support the channel uh, for days to come. And some of you like to be able to interact more um, personally with those of, uh, who create uh, YouTube content creators, right? Uh, so if you want to feel more a part of that, then if that's via Patreon, great. Uh, if you don't support on Patreon, that's fine as well. Um, it's whatever is comfortable and it's up to you. Um, and I'd probably try to think of something um, to be able to work with that. I do plan to try to tie it to Discord, uh, my Discord server, so then whatever the tier name ends up being, you would see that um, in the Discord if you also support on Patreon. So you'd have Discord benefits, basically. But I don't plan on doing a bunch of crazy different tier levels of different things because I don't kind of like the idea of separating... Uh, disengaging from my audience that, oh, because you pay more, you get more access to me, which is great. It probably works really fantastic for other content creators, but um, I kind of, I think one for all kind of thing, um, regardless. So, but you just get a little side benefit uh, of uh, Discord server uh, member role. So that being said, we are doing a thousand subscriber giveaway. Uh, when we hit 1,000 subscribers, I think we're like 970 right now. Uh, we'll be, I'll be giving away the USS Kid. Uh, we'll give away 30 days of premium and three different amounts of doubloons. Uh, so if you want to be a part of that and you're not subscribed, uh, please consider subscribing, especially if you're enjoying the content here. Um, I, I, again, I'm really thankful uh, to the FLT community. I don't view this channel just as a me thing, but as more of a us thing, because you guys have helped create and shape what uh, this channel is um, today uh, of me recording this. So I'm just thankful. So really appreciate it. Um, and we are going to have a little outro here. So this is something brand new I was working on today. So now all future videos should have a little outro, uh, YouTube outro at the end. Uh, so let me know if you like that or you don't like that, <laughs> uh, as I'd like to get your thoughts on that. So. If you liked today's video, give a thumbs up. If you did not, give a thumbs down. Subscribe if you do want to see more. If you're subscribed, thanks so much. I really appreciate it. And we'll catch you next time. Take care.